we were stuck so many years because nobody would get behind us. Right. And we went from building to building to building. So here we sit five years later and the building's paid for. <laughs> this is miraculous. <laughs> Um, we just finished a closing here with Generations House of Worship, and we're so proud of Nick and Nikki. And uh, I just wanted to, me and Nick to converse a little bit so we don't forget Psalm 78. Teach this to your children and your children's children. When Nick came to us, I thought, man, this guy's doing everything he can, working it out back, won the plan of church, <laughs> and everybody told him, yeah, we're not planting a church with you. We want you to work for us. Yeah. And so when we met him, we thought he had a destiny to plant a church. And then he went from a, a place where they start bringing animals into the place up there. <laughs> what was the name of that? Those ringers. Yeah, dog training. Dog training. The Libra in the Libra me, building. Dogs were barking. It smelled like cat pee. <laughs> and I was like, man, we got to. So he said, Pastor, we can maybe go to the Y. So we walked to the Y together and we helped get that set up and yeah. started saying, run cords this way, do this. And and uh, just to be a little part in this, he told me, man, it's, it's the Y. We're going over here, here. We really need our own space. So we came to pray together one day and we found this building. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the mailbox and all the mail was everywhere, <laughs> all over the floor. And I said, this is yours, man. No one's been here. We had, we had outgrown every place God had given us. And uh, I had driven by this church since I was a kid. It was such a beautiful building. And we had a, an 85 year old woman in our church who knew somebody who was going to that, that location. And every, every month she'd tell me, pastor, pastor, they can't pay their bills. They can't do this. They can't do that. And so we had went to them multiple times to borrow the building, rent the building, share the building, only to be shut down over and over again. I was at my wits end and I, I said, Pastor Buck, let me show you this building. And when he grabbed the mail, he's like, they're not using it. They're, it's, it's, it's dead in here. And then you said, let's buy it. And I was like, how do you buy a building that's not for sale? Um, we walked around it. We did. We, we prayed. it. But what's cool about this, I want everybody to know, is that, that man, you had a great, great pastor and his wife. And I said, if we're ever in a position to help somebody, yeah. and God put us in that position by His grace. And we struggled so much because we heard no from the bank so many times. And I said, God, if you ever bless us, we'll help every pastor that, that comes here. And so by God's miraculous power and, and, and Nick and Nikki's faithfulness, and the generosity of the people and your continuance in the crazy, <laughs> crazy chaos of ministry. Today we sat here, we signed the deed, Generation House of Worship is paid in full. Yeah. We're so excited, I'm, I'm, I'm as excited as you are yeah. because the reality is I said, Nick, he said, Pastor, we can't do this, we have no bank, no credit. I said, listen, we'll, we'll, we'll buy the church. Yeah. We'll use our credit. Uh, you'll put a down payment. We have money if you need it. But Nick's like, we'll come up with it. We'll do it. But we were stuck so many years because nobody would get behind us. Right. And we went from building to building to building. So here we sit five years later and the building's paid for. <laughs> this is miraculous. <laughs> and all I'm asking, we're going to pray, man. And I'm going to let Nick say one last thing. But all I'm asking Generations House of Worship, man, that you would perpetuate not only buy other buildings, but help another church. Yep. That's all, that's all the, the generosity that God has given us and you and everybody is that let's be kingdom people. Yep. Let's be people that work together for the kingdom. And when God puts us in a great position, let's use it for others. Amen. The, the Bible says those who bless others themselves will be blessed. And so I'm believing Generations House of Worship is a place that's paid off. Come on. And it's going to be a place that's filled with two services, then three services, then the next building and the next building. And they'll be sitting here in a few short years going, we can buy another building for someone else and we can build a local kingdom. We can love each other, get along and be for each other and covenant together. And the unity that's coming in Pittsburgh is because of simple situations that people love one another. Yeah. And we care about my brother more than we care about ourselves. Yeah. So we love you guys. Yeah. We bless you. Anything you want to say before we pray? Yeah, just, just amazing. I don't think a lot of people realize that not only did you guys step up by the building for us, uh, and while we were paying the mortgage, people don't, they don't know the backstory that the banks did say no. We weren't old enough. We didn't have enough revenue. Uh, there was we didn't have any security to do it and so you guys went uh, and secured not only the building 
but also when we moved in there it was it was literally 90 degrees plus in the building where you guys also then secured and signed your name on a loan for us to get air conditioning and electric, which we paid that off in a year, $100,000. And so it hasn't just been, hey, we paid off the 150, we've also been able to restore a building. Uh, people have got saved since, since we've moved in. And then on top of that, the, our ability to help the wind network. And so weekly uh, into that and all the churches that we've helped be able to plant um, just in the last seven years. So it's, it's so much bigger than what we see it's not just a building, uh, it's a vision of, of true kingdom advancement. Amen, how good and pleasant it is when brothers get along and work together. Pittsburgh, we're coming for this whole region yeah. in the Northeast. Yeah. There's churches being planted everywhere, right. and this is what the wind's all about, this is what relationships are about, this is what the kingdom's all about. Yes, so we're excited today to burn this mortgage and say the church is paid off, and it can happen for you, it can happen for anybody. That's right. As we do the will of God, we're not perfect people, but God still blesses and honors us. Let's all pray together. Would you guys come around your pastors? Generations House of Worship will endure till Jesus comes. And because of them, eternity will be different. That whole area, that whole valley, and that whole mountain, Father God, will be known as a place where people are loved, accepted, right where they are, right as they are. And they hear the uncompromising truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. They're blessed in their finances. You're adding staff members. You're adding more than enough to do your will. And I thank you, Lord. What they've experienced, they're going to do for many other churches, Father. I thank you for the stories we've seen and heard. And I thank you for your miraculous power and your grace. You. Father, we bless them and we thank you this church is a symbol and a source of blessing. I speak it over them and I thank you they live in more than enough with a spirit of faith to yes, transform right. our culture. That's right. We thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a wrap. Oh,